Hey guys, Thunderset here, showing you a new deck that revolves around the Dark Signer Colin, his new skills, his new boss monster. Let me just start off by saying I hate this character. He's brought us so many Infernity cards, so many new skills, you think something would be pretty good. It's all mostly terrible. I hate trying to play the Infernity archetype. It's just a bad synchro deck as it is right now. It's getting curb stomp, it's not fun. This guy was even harder to summon. It's not it's not cool. I was trying Dark Worlds. I was trying all sorts of different stuff. This is the most consistent deck I could put together that actually had a second win condition that you get off pretty consistently. That's in our Lava Golem Burn. You get one Lava Golem Burn and one direct attack from your Immortal and that's game. But in case you don't know what this new Earthbound Immortal does, he says you can only have one of them, but we only have one Earthbound Immortal in the game anyway, so it's no problem. If there's no face-up field spell card on the field, destroy this card. So the field spell we're actually using is Mausoleum of the Emperor during the any main phase, during any main phase. That's important, so even your enemy can use this field spell. During any main phase, the turn player can pay 1,000 times the life point number of monsters normally needed for the tribute summon. Set that out of order. That player can normal summon and set without tributing, so we pay 2,000 life points, normal summon our Earthbound Immortal, let him swing directly. The field spell is keeping him on the field, very cool stuff. Like I said, you get one Lava Golem burn off into an Earthbound Immortal attack and you've already won the game. So, one Earthbound Immortal, three Lava Golems. We also have special summonable monsters in case we don't have the life points to handle our Mausoleum. We would still need the Mausoleum on the field to make it so our Emperor, or Emperor, our Earthbound Immortal didn't just pop from his own effect of not having a field spell. So, you'd still need it, but if you need that little umph with no life points, you can use these guys to special summon and normal summon him. Also, they will help flood our enemy's field with tokens and monsters they want to special summon and all these sorts of things, fueling our Lava Golems, stalling them out till we can get to our boy Apu and do it great. So, just special summonable monsters that are flooding the enemy's monster zones. Lava Golem to clear those flooded monster zones. We're waiting to pull our Earthbound. Mausoleum is absolutely vital. You need it to run anything. Then we have Floodgates, Defense Draw, Two Draining Shields, Curse of Anubis, and Windstorm. So these are like the stalliest cards you can really get. Floodgate jams up their field. These are for the Lava Golems. This will stop virtually anything, maybe not Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes can get around Curse of Anubis pretty well. But other than that, you stall them out, you wait for your boy, and then you use Immortal Charity. So what does Immortal Charity do? It sets one random card. Two of the cards are very good. One of the card is total trash, so you know I was getting betrayed by the trash card constantly. But when you get the good cards, it's actually you feel like the skill's really worth it. So you can get that trap that's going to negate a spell or trap as long as you have an Earthbound Immortal. You set it and it's able to use immediately. You can use it as soon as you've set it. You can set a spell card where you can activate it and as long as you have an Earthbound Immortal, you destroy all back row they have on the field. And then there's some other terrible card called Roar of the Immortals and it's you target someone if they're attacking but they can't even target you for attack anyways so they would have to be swinging at something else. It's a mess, it's a terrible trap card, it kills the whole skill, so you have a 66% chance of getting a useful card when you use it. Terrible skill, I don't really like it. Like I said, I don't like Colin, I don't like Infernity, I don't like this Earthbound Immortal with like virtually no support, you gotta just get them out on your own, it's not cool. With all this new content, you think something would have been decent, something would have stuck to the wall. But I am not feeling calling, guys. It has not been fun with all this Infernity Madness. It's it's just not fun. But uh, this deck was fun. This deck was more consistent, and this deck was getting wins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. Look forward to more content. We're about to get a new box, all sorts of new stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Thunderstorm. Okay, fighting a player from Denmark. You finish Raid Duels. Jack Atlas. Going second, that's best for this deck. It's best for a lot of decks, except, you know, like Subterra. Excuse me, Subterra likes to go first. 
So we're fighting Red Eyes Fusion. He dumps a Shield Warrior and a Red Eyes, of course. We already have Mausoleum and Apu, so it's gonna be easy game, easy life. He sets a back row and a monster. We're gonna use our Mausoleum, use it, bring out Apu. We get a brand new animation, so that's pretty cool. The animation's awesome. Earthbound Immortals. Uh, I don't really know much about the archetype, I never watched 5Ds long enough to see these actually make an appearance, but they seem pretty strong, I'm sure they have just tons and tons of support. So here we get our Immortal Charity, we pull Whirlwind, that's not a bad one, we activate it, that lets us destroy cards, that makes him trigger his enemy controller, that makes us into defense, but that's okay, we're still coming at him. He sets another, or no, not set, he plays Power of the Guardian onto his Red Eyes and has to pass because he can't target us for attack. So as you can see, we get the Lava Golem off. After the Lava Golem, we get a swing with the Apu. 3,000 damage, 1,000 damage from the Lava Golem. That's a nice fast game. Stalling him out, hitting him with effects, hitting him with direct attacks. Very cool, very fun stuff, guys, using the new boss monsters. There we go. Okay, player from Mexico this time. He's using Loomis and Umbra, so it's most likely sub tears, but we will see. We're going first. You don't really want to go first with this deck, but it's not bad. It doesn't kill you. We have a Mithra, we have a Lava Golem, and plenty of stall. So it's just name of the game is stall till we get our Apu. It is a six samurai. I remember this duel. This is gonna be a long, long duel with lots of stalling. So he's getting two monsters out. I can't take that much damage because I still need the life points for our Apu. So I choose to floodgate the keys on. He still has enough for his United. That's a double plus two. Sets two back row. Hits us for 1700. That's not good. But we get another floodgate. We also have Draining Shield. We use our Lava Golem and our Mithra to clog his field with two monsters he does not need. Now he can't Synchro Summon into a Xi'an very easily. He'd have to get rid of one of them first. Lava Golem hits him for the thousand damage. He activates a dojo. Normal summons another Enchi, and that gets hit by a trap hole. Now he's gonna try to swing with the Lava Golem. That gets us back up to 3,000 life. He's gonna Offering to the Doom his own Lava Golem. We don't gain the life. He doesn't get hurt anymore. That's okay with us though. We get another Mithra. We are gonna uh, destroy his, not destroy his field, but completely fill up his field. He chooses to use the Kizan to block the token and get another Dojo token. Thankfully, Mithra still summons. That's really nice. So now he has room. Was not able to draw because of Offerings of Doom. Finally have our Mausoleum. But we're not scared of his one little monster slot. What is he going to do with that? Just passing his turn. We get a Dyna. We're going to set the Dyna. Just because. He's going to swing into the Dyna with a Token Vassal. Summons a Legendary 6. His effect will banish a monster from the grave and turn into them. So he's 1700 attack. Kills our Dinah and one of our Mithras. We get a Curse of Anubis. That'll protect us for one turn. This turn he chooses not to do anything. He's afraid of the back row. We get our Lava Golem. We choose not to use it ourselves. We could have and still uh, messed with this field. But I didn't want to disrupt just yet until he started banishing more cards. Which he does. Then we use the Curse of Anubis to throw him over there. We get another Mithra. So you know what that means. We get hit him with the Lava Golem. Hit him with the Mithra token. This guy's floodgated, so his whole field is just completely wrecked, guys. Nothing he can do with those five cards in hand. Takes another bit of damage. Wants to swing at us. Kills one Mithra, but that's all he can do. Now we gotta hope and pray for Apu. We're not getting him. Only eight cards in our deck. We get a Draining Shield. He gets hit. 1,000 life. He has to win here. He's definitely not gonna with this Draining Shield. Game's already over for him. We don't even need Apu anymore. So look who shows up. Of course that's when Apu shows. So why not use him? We don't need him. Lava Golem was going to win the game anyway. But he could draw another Offerings. Who knows what could happen. So no taking it easy on a 6 Samurai. We get our summon animation. Looks great. Destroying a city. Earthbound Immortal. Coming at you to attack directly. But first, got to use our skills. See what we get. We get the Terrible Card Roar, or no, we get Earthbound Whirlwind to destroy the Dojo, not really a big play. Attack directly for 3,000, not that we needed it. Our Lava Golem win condition was more than enough, but still very cool stuff, guys. Okay, and of course Japan, Sinkfi, or whatever his name was, Sinkf, 
sink whatever he's using a kaiba we're going second let's see what he's got we don't pull into our apu or a mausoleum so it's gonna have to be a stalling game but we got plenty of cards to stall with we're gonna summon a Dyna, swing with him. Any little bit of damage is gonna be big for us. It makes our path way easier. We also have a Floodgate and a Draining Shield down. He sets another back row, does not summon a monster. We're gonna normal summon another Dyna, right to swing at him. We get hit with a Treacherous Trap Pole, the worst card in the game. I absolutely hate that card. Should be banned. We just had a ban list. It was not banned. Sucks to be that. We get a Floodgate Trap Pole. Next, we get our Immortal Apu. We're going to use our Thunder Vassal to bring out our Lava Golem on him. He gets Void Trap Hold. It shouldn't kill Lava Golem, but until he does. Because it says you're supposed to negate the effect first, but his effect didn't go off to negate. Or whatever. So, Snipe Hunter comes and snipes off our Draining Shield and then kills our Mithra. We need the Heart of the Cards. We don't get it this turn, we only get a Draining Shield. That should make us last. But Snipe Hunter is going to snipe it again, throws the Stone of Ancients. Now we really need a Mausoleum or we're not going to survive another turn. It's not going to look well. Uh, here we have a Blue Eyes animation. It's not exactly rare. Everyone uses Beatdown for Blue Eyes, so it's pretty cool to catch. We'll just watch a bit of it. Next, you know, since it's a replay, we're going to catch Heart of the Cards. We're going to top deck just what we need right into a Mausoleum. Use our Mausoleum, bring out our boy. We get an animation of our own. From our own boss monster and then we're gonna easily swing for lethal guys very cool stuff so here he comes he's way bigger than skyscrapers it looks like so that's kind of a terrifying monster summon him use immortal charity we get the terrible terrible trap this time of roar of the earthbound doesn't matter we swing for lethal anyway there you go guys so earthbound immortals are pretty interesting we obviously need a bunch more support, better ways to search, all sorts of things missing from this. <sighs> I'm trying to make Infernity decks, guys. I hate Infernity. They're just bad synchros. It's not fun. I'm still trying, so keep an eye out. Other than that, I'm going to look at the ban list. I'm going to wait for the new box. We're going to do all sorts of other stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed these replays, and Thunderstud out.